Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. So I am calling this video the Lost Review because I am using the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette and I had never touched the palette, never swatched it, never did anything until this video. And it's quite embarrassing, but you know what? I am holding myself accountable for all of these eyeshadow palettes that I've bought. And I definitely want to do some inspo with this one in particular. So if you want to see three looks with the Rose Quartz palette, keep on watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy, you're, you're trying to do better in 2022. You're trying not to lose track of things in your makeup collection. Definitely consider joining the community because I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. If you are not familiar, this Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette was Huda's release for holiday of 2021. A lot of us were disappointed, especially after she had come out with that wild collection, which was, you know, really vibrant, really creative. I was really excited to see like, what is she going to do, you know, for the holiday? I was thinking she was gonna come out with like a safari type palette or something like that. Something, I don't know, maybe colorful, something along the same lines, but she didn't. She came out with this and I think compared to those wild quads or wild, uh, the smaller palettes, this just looked a bit ashy. It just looked a bit bland. It looked a bit blah and I just wasn't excited, but part of me just wanted to go ahead and get it because I don't have all of her palettes, but I think I have most of them and I have enjoyed them. A hood of beauty. I I want to say that was like the first, I felt like, you know, I don't know if what y'all consider a luxury palette, but that was like the first luxury palette I bought. And I remember buying it for VIB. I bought Mercury Retrograde and I bought the new nudes. And I remember only wanting to get Mercury Retrograde. That's the one I wanted. And then I ended up getting both. Like the person at Sephora was like, you might as well get them both. Like they're 20% off. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm about to spend like $100 on palettes. Little did I know, Pat McGrath was waiting for me right around the corner and her pink. Anyway, that's not what this is about. I bought this on sale. It might've been 20 or 25% off. I can't remember. I think I got it from Huda's website. And last year she came out with the Naughty Nudes palette, which almost was like a warmer, uh, redder toned palette, just like this with these marbly shades and these, these dual chromes. Great formula, I think, in these bigger palettes. And the, the Naughty Nudes palette, had like the new formula. It was really, really, really nice. She did have in the Naughty Nudes that Petri dish shade and she has one in this palette as well. When I saw the palette on some reviews and then in person, I was like, okay, okay, this is not the ashy palette that I thought it was. So that's when I decided to get it. Anyway, I'm gonna cut to the swatches. You've probably seen all of this, but I'm just gonna do that because everybody may not have. So, you know, let's go ahead and do it. All right, so here is the palette up close. And when you look at the swatches, there are several standout shades in here. I mean, to me, all of the shimmers stand out, but the ones uh, that I love are like those duochrome ones, Cosmic Love, Blissful, Moon Magic. They are just so beautiful. They are just beautiful. And I love the choice of mattes in this palette. The only one that I don't really care for too much is the shade Cherished, which is, oh no. Wait for it. <laughs> What's wrong? Why are you crying so hard? Okay, I'm gonna come out. That's unacceptable. I'll be right, Ooh, I'll be right back. It's so one of the difficult challenges with August and Marky is that Marky wants August to be happy all the time. And August is a people person. Marky is autistic and 
he can deal with that for a while, but then he needs his time. And there's also a four and a half year age difference between the two of them. So this doesn't necessarily have to completely do with Marky having autism. But you know, August wanted to go on the trampoline. I told him, I said, it's everybody's weekend. It's everybody's Friday. So if Marky says no, cause a lot of times I will go ahead and make Marky go. I'm like, it's Friday. Everyone can do what they want. I was like, I'm going to do some videos. We're going to watch a movie. You can do your iPads. You know, I'm not going to bother y'all and get on your nerves the way I normally do. So Marky said yes to go outside, but Marky didn't want to play as long as, you know, August wanted to, he was probably ready to come inside. So the two of them, it's just funny. I think about my sister and I, we had like that type of sibling rivalry um, as kids. And um, anyway, everybody's fine. August is mad. He said, I'm just the strictest mom ever. I'm like, because I told you to go to your room and just like think about what you're doing and to say sorry. Mm. Kids, kids are so dramatic these days. Like you're the strictest mom ever. I'm like, am I? Because, oh, and I'm the meanest mom too. Cause here's my thing. You don't have to go to the birthday party. The two birthday parties this weekend. Anyway, well, let's get back to the palette. Let's go ahead and get into the three looks with this palette. I hope you enjoy them. And I will be back at the end to just let you know my final thoughts. We're gonna get into the first look with the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette on this dreary, dreary, dreary day. It is a Wednesday. I haven't even swatched this palette. It's quite unfortunate as well as embarrassing. So I am really excited to get into it. Looking for August Granddad as usual. All right, so I know that many people skipped on this release, but I ended up getting it. I don't know when I got it. I know I didn't pay full price. I will say that. So let's just go with the flow this morning. This is going to be like my first impressions look. I'm going to go into some shade with an alien or unearthly cosmetics A5 brush. Let's see where this takes us. You know, VIB is coming up. So I don't know. This could be on someone's list or not. I'm really feeling the shade happiness. This looks really, really pretty. See what we think I have on my Glam Light Icing Primer in the shade Buttercream today. Ooh, this matches my blush. August, did you take your medicine? Ooh. You need juice? Ooh, this is a really easy matte to use. Let me fix my light a little bit. Okay, I think that's a bit more accurate. Look at this, y'all no effort i'm like lighting is such a youtuber struggle like i don't know when i'll get it perfect but i just really want to try to make sure the colors are as accurate as possible anyway i just went ahead with the back and forth motions with this which i usually don't do my primer had been setting a little bit longer though actually so no issues look at this this is such a pretty color mm, okay I like that. August is still here, shucking and driving. Let's go into the shade Empowered. I am curious about this one. And I'm gonna take Empowered on a BK Beauty A505 brush. I don't know if I need to spray this or not. This is really pretty. I'm being really careful with this. Let's, let's, let's try to go for a bit of a halo situation today. I am getting some fallout, so it probably would have behooved me to spray it. I'm just going to try to bring it up a little bit to blend in with happiness, kind of like that. Same thing on the other side, just going in slowly and using more like padding motions. August, you almost done, baby. I'm just taking a little crease brush 
by Morphe. And if I can just blend this a little bit. He's still taking his medicine. Oh, because you should be done that medicine. Here's what we're working with. I'm gonna walk him out. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. It is so dark. God, okay. Let us move on. And for the center of the lid, I was thinking about Cosmic Love, like this iridescent shade. So let's try that out. Ooh, this is really, really pretty. I feel like this shade could give that purple shade in the Utopian Dream Palette by Pat McGrath a bit of a run for its money. Let me know what y'all think. This is really pretty. Whoa. Oh my God. This is beautiful. Let's see. What do we want to put something on top of that? Just to give it a little more... I don't know, just to make it look a little different than the inner and outer corner. Let's do the shade Blissful. Another topper is this one here. Let's just pack a little of that on. Just lightens it up a little bit. That is really pretty, y'all. Okay, now we're gonna go into the lower lash line. And I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Serenity. It's just another matte shade, not quite as pink as Happiness. It's more of a mauve. Let's just sweep that under the lower lash line. These mattes are very, very easy to blend and I feel like I kind of forgot like how nice her mattes can be. Now I will say I do have some fallout so we'll see if I can get rid of it, but um, probably should have sprayed the shimmers. All right, going into the inner corner highlights. Let's do the shade Self Love. And for that, I'm using a BH Cosmetics lip brush. I really like the formula of this palette and the Naughty Nudes palette. So like these big palettes are nice. I cannot wait to see what other, you know, well, she only comes out with one big palette a year, but um, I don't know, not that I'm rushing holiday, but I'll be curious to see where her next color story is. Cause she has been doing like a few different things. I'm glad she got away from like the topes and the, like the gold, like mini palettes. Those were all very redundant. I really liked the wild collection she released yet last year. I only have the Jaguar palette, but that one is really nice. So I'm curious to see what she'll come out with. And there's our eye look. Let's see if we can brush the fallout away. I don't know if you can even see it on the camera, but it is definitely there, Lord. Oh God. Mm. Yeah, I have quite the bit of, oh God, no, no. I done messed up my whole situation here quite the bit of fallout on my face and it's not blending in to look like a highlighter so hmm what a predicament i maybe i'll just repowder a bit i don't know i did want to take the shade love stone and see if that would make a a nice like cream highlight i don't know so let's just check it out i see it a little bit because that's not going to work on my eyes at all. I don't know if you can see like that little bit of purple iridescence. But it's definitely there. Because I already had a highlighter on. So it's not showing up as probably the way that I want it to be seen. But I think you can see it. It's a little bit of purple there. I did use the, the slip shade I think or slippery shade in the Naughty Nudes on my eyes one time and it definitely creased. So I'm just not doing that again. I think she came out with highlighters like this. All right, but this is the look. This is what we're gonna go with. This is what I'm sticking to. I'm gonna see if I can wipe the fallout um, off. But if not, I mean, hey, got a little purple sparkle today. I'm gonna finish off this look and then I will be back. All right, you guys, so here is the final look. I am really enjoying this look. All right, so let me tell you what else I put on my eyes. I have a gray ColourPop liner. 
and it's a matte liner on the lower lash line. And then I have my 5D Lash Pal Mascara by Makeup Revolution. On my cheeks, I used a combo of ColourPop and Charlotte Tilbury. I took the ColourPop Enchanted Mirror Press Powder Blush. I have not used these in so long and I just wanted to try them out again. Really, really powdery and matte. Um, I don't hate it, it's cool. But I did put the Peach Gasm Beauty Wand on top just to give it some sheen, but then you saw me take the Love Stone shade and top that too. This is still a bit tacky, so I don't know if I love that. And for my lips, I used a combo of the shade Obvi by ColourPop, there it is. And then I took my Pat McGrath Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nude Cabaret. And that's what I have on my lips. So that's it. I really like this look. I love those iridescent topper shades. And I just think it's beautiful. I really, really do. I'm not sure, but it seemed like this palette really looked a lot better in person. I don't know if I said that yet or not, but the pictures, would not sell the palette for me. What sold the palette was when I watched um, a couple YouTube reviews and when I saw it in person. I really am into this look and I can't wait to get into another one. So I'm gonna go to work and get y'all into the next look. All right, you guys, so I am gonna be doing a look too with our Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. Where does the pee go after you go pee? You mean like when it gets flushed down the toilet? Yeah. It just goes through all the pipes and stuff. That was sewers. Yeah. What well, it go through Mm-hmm. Did you go wash your hands though? Cause I don't. I didn't hear it. water. Oh, 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 and your puffs and your nose spray. I'm gonna do it. Go. I'm gonna start today with the shade Gratitude for the transition. And I'm gonna be taking it on a lavish tapered blending brush. I'm going to go into the shade Aura and I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to go ahead and just deepen up the crease. I can't find the cup. I can't find the cup. The cups are where they usually are, August. Okay, I am gonna get some of my primer because maybe let's do a little half cut crease situation or if you try. I'll be right back. All right, so I did grab my Glam Light primer and I have a cut crease brush by Sigma. And here's the cut crease brush and it has an angled tip. I just took a little bit of the primer. I have it on my uh, the back of my hand and I'm just gonna go ahead and place it halfway across my lid and just use the angle part to get up in the crease. Mm -hmm. We go through this. Um, so what shimmer? Let's see. Ooh, let's use the shade Energized. And that's this shade right here. Just gonna take my finger and place it over the primer. August, come look at my eyeshadow. Look at this beautiful color. Look at this beautiful color. What do you think? I said good. Oh. And now I'll get here. Okay, unlock the door for him. Okay. And then you can come brush your teeth. Did you take your puffs and your nose spray? Oh my God, I love 
this. I love this. Come on, Huda. Like, what are we doing? I'm gonna take a BK Beauty brush. I kind of want to leave it. Should we leave it? He's in here. Come here. I, just, I really want to go into the shade uh, Mantra. This one right here, this deep one. Oh, I don't want to do too much. Good morning. This is a BK Beauty A502 brush. Just a little bit. Let's see. I got to put something here. Okay. Okay, they can't see you. Look. That's my mom's bed. Okay, here. Uh -uh. That okay here. This is a lot. Yes. Going back into gratitude for the lower lash line, and I'm taking that on a rougher thirteen brush. For the inner corner highlight, I want to go into the shade Self Love. I'm going to use a What's Up Beauty R101 brush. I don't think he did his puffs or his nose spray. He's going to do it right now. Oh, because he's shucking and jiving. This was such an easy look, and I might get to work early. Okay, I'm gonna finish off this look, get August out of here, and I will be back with my liner and my mascara and let you know what else I got on. All right, you guys, I am back with the final look. I am loving this. I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like this palette may be a bit underrated. I mean, it's taken me so long to use it. I can't remember what I thought about it. But um, I don't know, I really am liking it. Okay, all right, so let me tell you what else I did. For eyeliner, I used the Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner in the shade Lannister Gold from Game of Thrones. And that's what it looks like. Secretly, I think I got some in my eyes, so I don't know. But it is a metallic, almost like a white gold shade. This is the ColourPop Act Natural Mascara in brown. Oh, blush. For blush, I tried out a new one. This is the Milk Makeup Bionic Blush. Which shade is this? I, Infinity. And, mm, I don't know. I need to do like a blush ranking video I decided this morning, but I just tried this one for the first time, so it'll be coming. Now, this is a skincare blush. So, I don't know. Part of me just feels like it didn't dry down. Can you see the shade? So on top of that, I just used an hourglass blush. I think it was like dim infusion or something just to set it down. Cause it just wasn't, I don't know. It just was kind of tacky. And I was afraid that, I don't know. I don't know what I was afraid of, but, but I put that on top. Anyway, for my lips, I have my winning combination of a dark brown pencil. Today I'm using the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Decade. And there's the shade there with a new favorite of mine, which is the Dior lipstick in the shade New Look. I definitely have some Dior lipstick products on my Sephora wish list, but that's a whole nother video. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this look. We are gonna get into one more. All right, you guys, so we're gonna get into one final look with the Rose Quartz palette. I'm really enjoying this one. So let's see what we're gonna do this time. Using the BK Beauty 201 brush. All right. Oh man, I'm thinking this is gonna be a cool look and I like picked a warm blush, but it'll come together, it'll be fine. All right, let's see. I'm not sure if I'm gonna hit all of the shades in this palette, but I am gonna go into the shade Mantra. I know I did use Mantra 
in the last look, but we are gonna go into that using a BK Beauty A502 brush. Just gonna start this in the crease. When I used it in my last look, I kept it more in the outer corner just to deepen up that look. But this one I'm gonna put throughout the entire crease. All right, next we're gonna go into a shimmer. I'm gonna take the shade Abundance and I'm gonna use my finger to apply that all over the lid. It's a really pretty shade. I wanna see if we can go into the shade Empowered as an inner corner, outer corner shade. Gonna take the Refer 13 brush Let's just see. I hope I don't get like a bunch of fallout. We will find out. I am having a bit of fallout, just a little, but just wanted to see how this would look as an outer corner shade. Just something like that. Very simple. Just going to make sure I tap my brush. For the inner corner highlight, we're gonna take the shade Joy, taking a pencil brush by the brand Egg Show. Using the same brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Serenity. I'm gonna place that under the lower lash line. And there's the look. Let me know what you think about this third and final look. As per usual, I'm gonna finish up off camera and I'll be right back to close out the video. All right, you guys, this is the final look. I love it. I had to take my hair down because I didn't like it. Okay, look at this. Look at the white eyeliner. Do you see it? White eyeliner just, I just love it. Love it. All right, so there's the look. Okay, to finish up the look, I use the Linda Hallberg White Core Crayon. It's just a white matte eyeliner, and I just put that underneath the, well, I put that on my lower lash line. I also use the 5D Lash Pow Mascara by Makeup Revolution. And then for blush, I have on the Patrick Ta She's So LA. I love these kind of brownish shades. I think it looks fine with the look, so I'm, I'm cool with it. For lips today, I just have on the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash, and this is the shade 134 Lust. Here's a close-up of that shade. I'm getting through it, but it was a lot of product in this one, but I love this one. It's so, like, hydrating. I love it. And I don't have a liner on, so that is it for this look. Final thoughts about the Rose Quartz Palette. I really, really love it. I I don't know. I just remember when this palette came out, just not being really excited. And then when I was able to get it on sale, I did. But obviously I still wasn't excited because it sat for such a long time. I don't know. I think it's a bit deceiving. I know that there are some shades I'm not gonna use a whole lot, like the shade Cherish, this really light pink. This would be a blend out shade for me at best, an inner corner highlight or maybe a brow bone highlight. I'm really not gonna use Love Stone. I'm not even gonna use that as a highlighter because it's really tacky and it didn't seem to dry down when I did use it. But other than that, I'm gonna use all of these shades. And I just like that it has like these mauve looks. You can do a little brown look. Like I really wanted to use the shade Quartz and didn't get to that in this video, but like, these three shades together are gonna be so pretty. Mmm. And let me tell you something. Moon Magic, Cosmic Love, and Blissful. I don't wanna make a, a, you know what? Yes, I am. These shades, I feel like these could give some of our indie shimmers, maybe even Mama Pat, a run for their money. I'm, I'm serious. And look at how beautiful these shades are. Like, 
Yes, 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 they could. I'm kind of blown. I, I think I'm blown away by this palette a bit. And this is definitely something I would really love to use more. I'm blown away by it because cool tones just haven't been my thing. But lately, I will say the Sultry palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I really love that. I love the Jaguar palette by Huda Beauty. That was from the Wild collection that she released. And I absolutely love this. And there are a lot of cool looks that you can make with the Natasha Denona Retro palette. Like I am really, really feeling those palettes a lot. So, mm, I don't know. I'm interested in what Huda Beauty is gonna do with eyeshadow this year, kind of. These little lippy blush sticks, that's not really what I'm into. But I am into her bigger palettes. And I would be into the nine pans if they're a good story or if they have this formula. So I do hope that if you have the Rose Quartz palette that this video inspired you to pull out this palette and just give it a whirl because we just, it's so easy to forget our old palettes with all of the new releases that are coming out. And then with spring coming, you know there's gonna be a bunch of spring palettes coming out, but I haven't filmed my video, but this is definitely one that I think is a great spring palette. And if you have it, go back and give it some love. You know, I know it was holiday 2021 and that seems like so far in the past, but you know, I think this palette, this one and the Naughty Nudes are some of her best. And if it's something that you really like, the Sephora sale is coming. So, you know, hold tight because I think this was $67. That is a bit pricey. So, you know, it should be good. So thank you guys so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for this inspo video. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Oh, block, yeah.